Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Some Imperia. And so, I decided to make a big ship. Yes, a new ship. Uh, well, in the blueprints, obviously. Because, uh, you know, I can't build worth crap. But, uh, yeah, this guy here, the palace. Palace, palace. Uh, so, let's start production. So, here's the ingredients here. I accidentally put extra in there. But, pretty cheap, actually. Pretty good price. It's a huge CV drill ship. So, that sounds actually really cool. So, let's go ahead and spawn that in. There we go. Oh crap, I forgot about the, the guys that are going to come in. So we're going to make sure turrets are on. We're going to make sure this ship's turrets are on. And this is powered up as well. Because they will come in here and they'll start doing some crazy stuff here. There you go. We should be fine, but... Did I actually take five damage? What jerks? Oh, here you go. They miss completely. They hit over here a bit. Okay. There you go. As far as I know, that's it. So every time you spawn a CV, you got to remember they they want to come in and take down your your beautiful ship that you just worked so hard on. Um, but anyways, so that's stunning dealt with so let's go ahead and uh, get the ship up and running so um it looks pretty badass actually so this must be the back of it because it's supposed to have some drills on it oh my goodness those are <laughs> those are slightly bigger drills than i'm used to in the ship oh here's the entrance it's like how do i get it oh that was kind of cool i got o2 tell this is actually really kind of cozy in here this feels bigger than the other ship. I mean, obviously it doesn't have the uh, the cargo, uh, you know, the the way to park your small SVs in it. But you obviously don't need it. That's not what it's for. This is like your large size SV, I guess you could say. But it's got a lot of upgrade rooms in it, too. You got all these little uh, sickness and trauma kits and all this. So it's great for that. Um, now, here's the question. Oh, yeah, there's the healing. It's like, is there a healing one? You got your O2? Yeah, that, that is really cool. You even have these in here. Oh, that is so cool. So, you know, your, your friends can sit in here and stuff. I love this ship. You got your constructor in here. It's not an advanced constructor. It's a regular constructor. I guess you could probably fit a, an advanced constructor if you wanted to in here, depending on, you know, how you wanted to do things, obviously. And I think it has a shielding system. Oh, there is a back room in here. Oh, my goodness. Wait, is that the... What is that? Is that like the the drive there? The jump drive? Warp drive. Yeah, look how big it is. Oh, and there's the compact shield generator. So it's fit, sitting flat on top of it. That is actually pretty sick, to be fair. Your wireless connector there. Wow. Your armor. Gotta admit, pretty badass. Uh, clone chamber two, maybe, maybe not. Oh, it even has a shower for radiation burns. A freaking toilet! Oh my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, that's to get out. I was like starting to think, what? There's even more. <laughs> Is there, like, anything I'm missing at this point? Oh, this is a constructor. A large constructor. Oh, you can upgrade that to the advanced constructor, I guess. Oh, what? There, There's a roof access, too. And it has friggin' solar panels on it. Oh, my goodness. This is, like, the ship that keeps giving, huh? We'll turn that on. Close that. There you go. Thank you. Okay, now I was curious. Is there a clone thing on here? I'm thinking there might not be. No, there apparently is. Did we see it and I'm just blind? Or is it like tucked away somewhere else? Though I think you have to spawn in front of it, don't you? I don't know how the clone chambers actually work, so. I might be making that up. I guess we can just double check by looking inside the thing. Maybe they want you to spawn as close as possible at the front, though. There's your fridge, and you got a food thing. This is a well-equipped little ship, huh? Let's check it out. Uh, devices. Let's see here. So, where would it be under... There's usually, like, a miscellaneous thing, I think. 
Medical bio biomedical chamber. That's just for healing, right? O2. So maybe there isn't one on here. I mean, it sounds like there should be one on here, but let's just let's try setting it. Well, apparently you can do it. So uh, let's make that for our faction. There you go. It's a 972 ton ship too. Damn. Okay, so let's let's fill this puppy up. So let's go. I'll do P here, and we'll go fill all here. We'll manage here, and then we'll go to base, and then we'll go to main storage, and yeah. So let's go ahead and fill up the fuel. I've been using these for other stuff, so let's waste. Uh, well, let's use these up. There you go. Let's use those up. We're gonna want to bring some extras with us. And then your oxygen, let's fill you up, shall we? So with oxygen, I just saw them, there they are. There you go. And might as well fill you up with what we can do here. It's not a lot, I could make more, but I might leave it, because I don't need a lot of jumps right now anyway. So I could go mine some to be fair. Uh, 144 AU, so, and that'll be part of the shields too, to be fair. Um, whoa, look at that. There's 200k cargo. Oh, there's the things. Harvest is 200k. So I guess everything lit up and now we can see what's going on in here more. That's kind of cool. I want to see what's in any, any signs in here. No. Just side check. I like the, the signs though. That's cool. I love the upside down constructor though. <laughs> So it's got f two constructors in this ship anyways. Oh, we got a little hot in there. What is this? Upgrade guide. Okay. Oh, that's so cool. So here's all your information. It can be hidden in the control panel, by the way, so if you want to hide this. So we go to devices and I guess LCD or they might have named it something else, but it's under LCD screens upgrade guy. Good. And you named it right. So there you go. <laughs> That's so cool. All right. Okay. And here's your ship. So this might be one you might want to fly this view in many cases. So this is a heavy sucker. Like you, this is not something you would mine for planets, by the way. This is not a planetary miner. This is a space miner. So if you want to mine planets with this, you're you're probably going to be out of luck. But you want to go into space? Oh yeah, this thing doesn't have even a high uplift on it. But uh, let's go ahead and try it out. Okay. So let's see what we can find around here. It's like whatever one is the closest. Let's go to silicon. Now the shields aren't on. I guess we could turn them on. I don't usually want to waste all the the stuff, but I guess it's not a bad idea from time to time. You never know when new accidents happen anyway. Shields. Probably turn oxygen on. Oh, you have to retract them. Okay, that's kind of cool. They stick out further, I guess. Are we gonna? Oh, these things are so heavy that they uh, they were enough to prevent me from going through them. I was hoping it would ignore it or something, but no, that'd be uh, cheating, I guess. So we go into this one right here, huh? The lone little sucker. Dodge that. I can't even see it to be fair. I guess we should need we need to scan again, that's why. Let's get cobalt nearby. Where's our silicon one? Wait, let's just use alt here and look around. Oh right there, okay. 
It's like we were in here before. Now this thing does not move well. It doesn't obviously probably doesn't have something like an RCS thruster or whatever on it. I guess it's not really meant for that too. You could probably upgrade stuff and put one in, but do 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 do. Okay. So yeah, if we go ahead, let's see what these look like if they get retracted in. Or retracted out. Turn some weapons. Oh, they just, they still work. Okay. I thought maybe we would change it up a bit. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how this is going to work. I hope it works out well, because it'd be kind of sad if it's like, yeah, okay, that was the worst purchase ever. I'm hoping it's pretty godlike. That's pretty decent. It's turrets to get rid of drones. It has the ability to jump. It has lots and lots of storage. Um, and like I said, it's it's meant to do just this, right? Uh, probably not even meant to take off one planet with a heavy load or whatever. So uh, you probably want to go and make sure, like the planet you're landing on this one. I don't know if the G's amount, you know, but the way it was pretty clunky to get into space, I probably wouldn't want to take this fully loaded into a planet just to take off with a full load, you know what I mean? But yeah, this thing is pretty beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. Better than I expected, actually. I was a little worried. I was worried. And this is, there's better ones out there. This is, uh, and this one can be upgraded with better too. Um, this is the starter. This is using the drills. There is the ones where there's lasers, so. This is just your beginner one meant for asteroid mining. Though the, 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 uh, the storage is a little concerning. 1.6%. Well... We're gonna be out here for a while if we're gonna fill that up. <laughs> That's the, probably the best part of it. Is like I'm not used to such a, a huge storage, which makes this a lot more fun. Um, oh my goodness! Let's so let's go to the cargo here for fun. Uh, although look at the added colors, you could do that. I didn't even know that. That's so cool. Um, so does this screw up when you're like doing F4 on here? Oh no, it doesn't. Oh my goodness. We just learned something. We're going to have a lot of fun with that eventually. Anyways, uh, F4. Um, harvest. There you go. <laughs> so that's almost 8k ingots already done. Ready to go. And I guess the best part of this is we can just go like this, right? So we can just go to P and then just do your constructor. And as far as I know, these are like the same speed, aren't they? At this point, this is probably why a small constructor exists on here is literally just, you know, to do this. But there you go. This thing will not even like it won't even uh, beat what you can mine. But I guess you could do some of it. So it's partially done. We're just gonna go for fun. Just do both of them. Why not? We're we're, we're not gonna be out here too terribly long, anyways. It was more for fun, right? So, actually, what are they set up on? I didn't even pay attention. Output harvest and then output, which is eight k storage. Okay. Thing of silicon over here.
Beautiful. I love this. Okay, well, there you go. I like that. Um, let me keep mining here, and then we'll come back. I kind of got most of whatever on that asteroid it was on, but, you know, good 4K, I guess. Or, sorry, not 4K, 8K uh, of the silicon. So, you get a lot out of it, honestly, which is awesome. I'm just going this one near a station. Oh, we should be very safe. But, uh, yeah, so copper here. Just wrong button. That was amazing. You can see the tips of these, so this must be... I, I haven't played Empyrean with uh, the SV and CV drills and all that anyways in the past, but I'm guessing since there's a minor or a laser version for the CVs, I'm guessing this is like the mod, probably one of the mods here, making this into uh, a drill, but it acts like more of a laser. It doesn't seem like it touches it. You can see there's a blue coming from it. It feels like I'm aiming it more like than anything, but it acts pretty much like a drill, to be fair. It, it's awesome, but uh, um, I'm guessing it doesn't have much of an AoE to it. But it's been working so far pretty good. It's just, you'd have to, you have to know to like, you know, like usually with our uh, SV ones, we just kind of tuck in and kind of go in there and it covers the full size of the ship. With these ones, I think you're going to have to work on like kind of cutting your own hole in there a bit to get in, but... I could be somewhat wrong. I guess I could, I guess all you do is just stand in one spot and see if you can get through it. Yeah, no, already we're getting a little trapped. We're only getting lucky because it's mutating a wee bit of it, but yeah, you gotta have to, you gotta move it around a bit. But I think it's pretty badass, so there you go. Pretty fun ship, too. I really like the design of it, so... Wish I brought food or we would have already jumped. I think we're going to do that anyways after I go back to the planet. So we'll uh, we'll come back when I'm done this and uh, we'll go for a landing. Okay, here we go. I was AFK a bit doing some work stuff on the side. So unfortunately my food was getting really low there. But uh, I didn't really pay attention too much to the copper. I might have left a little uh, bit on one of the sides. But I was like, yeah, better get back. Don't want to starve to death here. So honestly, we, we have hardly any uh, used cargo, so it's not like we, we got a, a bunch here. I want to be able to jump around a bit, get some other stuff, so that's why I've come back a little early anyways. But uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, wow, this thing doesn't... Wait, really? You can last 800 minutes? What the hell? This thing's got better storage on this thing. Look at this, 13 hours. Let's turn off the thrusters. So the thrusters are hardly even affecting it. That is awesome. I wish they all would do that. What the heck? I don't understand that one ship then. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and clear out our inventory. So the way we do this is we go to the pal palace or whatever, and we go to our base, we go furnace deposit, and then we go to harvest. There you go. So we're just going to shift click these over. So yeah, not a ton of that, but that's all right. And then main storage, we get rid of you guys. And output, we'll get rid of you. Cool. Very cool. Okay. And then we want to, um, first of all, we want to eat, obviously. Oh, that's probably why, too. Uh, I forgot. You have solar panels. So, like, right now the uh, sun's out. So that's going to help in between, you know, trickle charge some stuff on here. So... Uh, I didn't even think of that. That that definitely would uh, keep us, uh, yeah. Because, I mean, obviously it wouldn't be able to keep up with uh, all the time. But, let's see. Generator. There's two large generators. Oh, my goodness. There you go. So, if you turn off the two generators. Yeah, current. Uh, yeah, it's not enough. Oh, yeah, and the shields to require a bunch. But, uh, yeah, I forgot about the shields. You turn off the shields now, then you're probably going to save some. So here, turn off shields. And then turn off turrets, thrusters. There you go. Eighty-four minutes. Oh no, five <laughs> eighty-four hours. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because of those solar panels. So if we turn off those solar panels, eighty-four nineteen, right? So let's see here for fun. We'll have fun with this solar. There you go. Oh, I guess you can't actually turn them off. 
Yeah, but that's probably helping a ton. Wow, that's so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's get some food on us. Uh, let's go to fridge here, please. There you go. <gasps> Nothing like a good uh, meal for your uh, your your mining trips here, and then we'll store some on the ship as well. And then we we should probably never turn off the ship because of how little power usage it uses, anyways. Just shut down most things, and uh, it'll have uh, pretty good. Oh yeah, and don't forget we actually have it's even better than that if you think about it. Because look at that, so a four eighteen. But then don't forget to turn off the other crap that you have on here from before. So uh, like lights, you can turn those off. There you go. Uh, so that'll, that'll help a bit more. There you go, 9618. And then don't forget we put all those constructors on. So active and active because they have a small uh, drain on those as well. So there you go. 101 hours. And there's probably still other... I don't know if these take any power up, to be fair. No, it doesn't look like it. Uh, there's going to be other, I guess, oxygen assist. Well, actually, would it have a drain or is it just to turn it off, basically? No, I guess it's just to turn it off. Oh, they have uh, ones here for that stuff too. Food processor constructors. Oh, that's kind of handy. Minigun turrets, sentry turrets. Okay, so minigun and sentry turrets. They're probably already off though because we did all the turrets. Yeah, so if you turn these on now, there you go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh, there's the upgrade guide. So there's a switch on there. Interesting. That takes power, huh? Cool. Wait. Oh, I thought we could use that. I saw station service and I thought maybe that automatically works with our base. That would have been kind of cool, actually. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go back to. I think that was a warning from before. I, yeah, I don't think that, that is an issue now. And then uh, let's go back here and let's go to the fridge here. There you go. And let's definitely dump a chunk of meat in there. And another thing I didn't think of and we need to worry about is ammo for these. So, uh, rifle rounds. What the? What? Oh, because there's that. I guess there's a sentry turret somewhere on here, too. A little thing. So, 5.8 rounds. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to make some. Or I guess we could steal them. You know, we could just steal them from the other thing here. Let's do that for a bit. Uh, manage. Uh, actually, we might have some in the base still. I put most things into here now. Oh yeah, here you go. And then where is those rifle rounds? Any rifle rounds in here? They're those grayish looking. No, there's none at all. Okay, so let's go to the X3. Yeah, these guys right here. <clears throat> that way we have those those rounds in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. And then, uh, yeah, so we should be good for taking off again. So we're going to go and turn on shields, lights, uh, turrets and weapons, and thrusters. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I wonder if I should be, like, those are on. Oh, yeah, there you go. I guess you really, I guess they don't, they don't have the ability to connect to each other. So I guess you can, you know. Oh, that's kind of cute. Drill guides. Oh, touch asteroids, then back away until all rings are fully visible. Oh. Did not realize we, we had such information. Weapons if I stand there till, you know, all the rings are available. Okay, so let's go somewhere here. Uh, let's open the map here. Solar system. So let's just go to one of our, you know, normal whatever places. Um, I guess these places won't have what we want because they're more of the starter areas anyways. We've already been here um, to most of these. But let's go one where there's going to be, yeah, the perfect. Yeah, that'll be where we go because we want to get some of that anyways. Need some more fuel for our ship. There we go. 
Now, those things are usually, I've seen a lot of them. Not all of them are guarded, but some of them I've seen them are quite guarded. So, I might have to pick and choose a bit just for the fact that it might not be as easy as picking one. So, let's open the map and see if I can find, oh yeah, here's one here. Okay, so, yeah, that should be. Okay. Is this on glide mode still? Yeah, it is. Okay, there you go. Whee! I doubt this thing's gonna do much to us. There you go. So these are great for this. Yeah, Sentry 2. Yeah, this is what I'm worried about. Are these the ones that sit there all the time, or...? Where is this thing anyway? So here it is. Yeah, see that's my problem. Like, we could go to the turret if we find it fast enough here. Oh crap, turret, there you go. Wow, oh, you got a lot of turrets. Why aren't you actually fighting anything? Bases, maybe? But as you can see, these could be problematic just for the fact that these like to hang around here anyways. You can hide, obviously, but they're they're all over the place, yeah. And then that just gives you issues because you can't really mine it. So that ends up being a dud just for the fact that I can't get close enough to that one. Now, they shouldn't all be like that, but I found quite a few like that anyways. Apparently, it just doesn't want us to remove it. There you go. We can check some of the other ones, like, there's a bunch of them, so. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario just means I'll just have to go and get them in planets, but this I don't think would work well on a planet. Uh, it's not meant for it. It's, it's literally meant for asteroids, so it just means I have to use my other ships for that, but we'll, we'll try it around. Okay. Did I not... oops, I thought I hit the right button. I, there you go. I'm like over gliding here, but I didn't see any of those stupid turrets, so it looks like we found a good one here. So here we go, we can go ahead and chew this stuff up. Show one. So these guys aren't supposed to, they're supposed to be like right here. Now these aren't the best. I mean, they're in space, so I guess they're nice freebies, but you know, they, I, they don't seem to feel good because of the way they are. Um, they're they're heavily nerfed, though. Somebody said to me that this is even better than vanilla, so I, I believe them. You know, I'm not saying they're wrong. I don't know in vanilla, but uh, I guess they're not meant to be in massive quantities either, so... I do like the looks of them. They're kind of unique. But I don't think they're filled into the core or anything like that. They take a while to go through, though. They're pretty tough, uh, pretty tough materials, I guess. There we go. You think this can get this in here? Because we're not there. <laughs> yeah, so I can't get in the front there as well. I think if uh, the reason why it worked well before with the other stuff is more for the fact that um, it was just so, uh, you know, it does an AOE when it's kind of crushing it up and, you know, it can do that well. But when it's not, the AOE is the, the effect when it's touching the material versus actually uh, AOE within, like, space itself. So um, that's why it works well. When we're actually going in to mine it, and it doesn't work so well with this method, I think it's because of that, so. But this gives us more fuel and more opportunity to go around and get more roids, so that's always the best part of this, really, so.
Actually, you know, when I thought it didn't feel like a lot, I mean, once you start adding these all up, not, not too shabby, actually. We'll see how much we get in total. Not bad, 238. That's that's not bad at all, honestly. And what does that turn into anyways, if we uh, look at the small constructor here? So that turns into two. So yeah, that's not too bad at all. So uh, basically almost 500 of those. And then, you know, obviously there's lots of these asteroids around. So there's another one like two feet away I was going to grab next to, but... Uh, at least it felt like two feet away. I guess it was a little further than that. It's pretty close, though. Let's see if we can see it here. Do we see it? Am I blind? Might just be... Oh, yeah, no, it is right here. Where the heck are you? So is this the one I just did? Or... Yeah. That's the one I just did. So it's this one. Oh, here you go. One kilometer away. Okay. Another uh, little technique I found that kind of helps a bit better with this is doing this here. Like this. Oh, well, this one's kind of, this one looks a little bit more fuller, but what I was going to do is I was doing them sideways so I can kind of go in there and then kind of work on it like this. There you go. This, this works better. There you go. I thought that might be a better way of doing it, to be fair. And then this one, you can just come in, come in here and turn this and... Get it into that one once you flip your ship around. I think an RCS would probably help a lot. I don't. I really don't know. I don't know the ins and outs and all that stuff. But uh, I, I do feel like if I could flip my ship a bit around a bit more like that, it would be. It would make this a little bit more enjoyable. But I don't know if that's just too much power usage. I don't know how expensive those are. I don't know if I'd be that be just going overboard at that point, or it's just more like get used to what you got. You know. But upgrading and learning to upgrade your own ship is not a bad idea. It's, it's how you learn, right? So uh, there's nothing wrong with what we do is get on a workshop ships. A lot of people do that. Even some of the best people who make ships, a lot of times they spend their time doing just that. And then maybe later on they build their ships because I think a lot of people, they build them in creative mode. So one way or another, they're pretty much blueprinting them in anyways. And then while they're playing the game, they, they, they do adjustments if it's on their ships or even other people's ships they're checking out. But uh, it does, uh, I, I think it's a great idea for modifying ships and learning to modify ships, so. You don't have to know how to build them, just know how to modify them. I mean, building them is pretty simple, so, uh, to be honest. It's the, it's the balance that, that really makes it harder. And uh, I, I wouldn't even say just the balance, I'd say making it pretty would be the, the hardest, I guess, uh, endeavor. Making it functional and also look good. But uh, yeah, so I'll just, just honestly, this is all I'm going to do. I'm going to do a bunch of mining here for a while and just have some fun. And uh, then, uh, yeah, we'll come back in the future. Uh, I'm probably going to take out my other ship to mine too because I'm going to need to mine some planets. I need to get more of the uh, those rare materials that I think are mostly on planets uh, just because they're getting low. And I want to be able to make other vehicles in the future, some big ones uh, out there because we've been doing these smaller ones, which I think are amazing. Um, but uh, we got so many things on the table more of that means story mission I wanted to check out the center of the solar system eventually so lots of things to do anyways but uh, thank you my friends so much for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment like we'll see wonderful people next time have a wonderful day goodbye